Hey YouTube, this is Mr. Snowmobiling here. Welcome to part two of uh, the water cooling upgrades to Project Antares. So, a little bit's changed. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, this is actually about six months uh, since I first put together the water cooling loop for this system. And I went ahead and made some changes to it. Uh, the first thing I made changes to is uh, I got a, uh, a 1000 watt power supply for Christmas. Um, it's an RM1000X, so it's dead silent up to about 400 watts. My old power supply, I replaced it because it was loud. And I did a external fan mount for it where I ran the lead into a Molex connector on the outside back here. On the 5.5 volt rail or the 5 volt rail, I can't remember. But it, it did decrease the temperature or the, it de did decrease the noise level of that power supply quite substantially. But it would not ramp up if the temperatures or the loads got any higher. So I just decided that I was going to throw that in my land system. And I was going to go, um, I, I ordered a new power supply. I wanted the 850 watt version, but my dad surprised me and got a 1000 watt version. So it is dead silent, which is good. Very nice, good high efficiency. So um, a little bit less power usage also. But... I wanted to make some changes to the system because I got tired of, or there's some things I didn't like about the Slim at 360 um, from EK. The first thing is, was the tubing size. So the old tubing size was, I believe, 10, 10 millimeter ID, 12 millimeter OD, and that's pretty puny, small looking tubes. So I went ahead and upgraded to 12 millimeter ID, 16 millimeter OD. And when doing that, I had to upgrade all my compression fittings. So I went ahead and got a six pack of uh, Eek or Alpha Cool uh, compression fittings for that tube size. And I had to get a, I decided to get a few uh, 45 millimeter or 45 degree angled things also. So I went ahead and did that. Um, the other thing I didn't like about the kit was the reservoir was absolutely puny. It came up just higher than that little glass thing that you can see the emblem in there came up to about here. It was really puny compared to the case as you can see. Even this reservoir is a little small compared to it. Um, but I, I won't complain. Uh, I could have went for the big Kahuna version but I was uh, thinking about installing a reservoir or not a reservoir, a radiator at the bottom of this, a, a 240 with fans. So that would bring up the, the top of the reservoir to, to about here I'm thinking. So and that would fill up the rest of that void up there in the top of the case. But other than that, you know, I decided that I had to make changes to the system. And it's this system's never going to be done. Um, you know, Project Antares started in 2013 with a 4770K, 16 gigs of RAM, and a GTX 780. And it's it's gone all the way up to a 5820K, 32 gigs of RAM, and a GTX 1070. So... It's a work in progress. It always will be. So if you're interested in these build videos and what's come next with this video right now, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I will continuously update stuff. And I'll also begin doing more videos on client builds. So if you're interested in getting a computer built for you that looks something like this um, or, you know, a similar nature, uh, you can go ahead and contact me PM on YouTube and I'll, I'll get back to you. Anyway, um, so... I'll go ahead and cut really quick and we'll get into the modding part of this video and I'll go ahead and show you guys what I need to do. Alright guys, so the, what I need to do now is you can see I've got a temporary mount of cardboard right now and it's not the best, obviously. You know, the reservoir, you know, I can move it around. Um, so it's, it's not mounted, fixed mount right now. So I want to fix that. Now, the kit itself comes with this adapter that will mount the reservoir, the radiator, sorry, reservoir, the pump, pump, Greg, come on. The pump, it'll mount the pump onto a 120 millimeter fan bracket where you can mount it. As you can see, there's there's 120 millimeter fan hole right there at the bottom of my case so I can mount it to it. But the clearance on my graphics card, now, the graphics card, as you can see, the end of it's right there at the top, very top with the LEDs, but it extends another about a half an inch, which makes it so I, if I mount it with those holes, it won't fit there. 
So the solution that I've come up with is I'm going to go ahead and fabricate a bracket or a um, I'm going to go ahead and make a sheet of metal basically that's going to cover this hole up and what it's going to do is I'll be able to use two screws or two bolts that came with the kit and I'm going to do one here and one in the rear left or rear right and basically I will mount that plate to this and then there's a one and a half inch um, thing basically the holes for this is offset by one and a half inches so I can mount the plate to here and that mounts up just fine to here but then I can mount the reservoir the pump itself one and a half inches over on the plate giving me enough clearance to clear that and it'll be a fixed mount solution and the holes are universal so if I want to I can change the reservoir so it's facing the the, the tubes at the bottom can face directly out like this but I think I want them going like this uh, I think it goes a little bit better but I don't know yet um, and the nice the other thing is is for the people just getting into water cooling like I was spend the extra 15 to 20 dollars and get a get a drain set up for your loop it is the worst thing in the world to try to drain a loop that doesn't have proper drains so this setup cost me literally less than ten dollars and it's not the most elegant solution in the world but it does work I basically just use an extra compression fitting that I had in my six pack and this is on the in port on my pump but since I'm using the reservoir it doesn't matter um, so that's the in port and uh, basically if I crack this top on the pump or the reservoir it will drain directly out this and at the bottom all I did was I I picked up this little barb um, fitting on here and uh, you know it's a little barb fitting with a, a G1 quarter plug that screws in there and that gives me enough room so I can basically where my computer is up here I can pull my computer forward and then I can put a bucket or whatnot right here on my desk somewhere and then I can just drain my loop really easily and makes it a lot easier so anyway guys I'll go ahead and cut to me starting to fabricate the procedure and I'll talk about that and we'll go from there alright guys I'm back so um, the lighting is not going to be the best in here because I'm in my garage now um, and I'm going to be go ahead and cutting this plate basically that I'm going to be using for the mount but as you can see I used a 120 millimeter fan and these are the uh, case mounts or it's going to be able to mount to the case at the bottom down there and then the pump will be offset an inch and a half as you can see it's offset by an inch and a half and then the pump will mount here so it's basically just going to be two cuts with I, I think I'm going to use a bandsaw yeah I'm going to be using a, a bandsaw for this so because I want the edges to be clean and then uh, this is the piece of metal I'm going to be using it's a little dirty but you know I'll clean it up with the grinder grind the edges off and then I'll I'll go ahead and paint it so uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned. I will go ahead and cut this up and we'll go from there. Guys, as you can see, I got the first cut done. I didn't want to record doing the, um, the bandsaw just because it's, it's loud and it's annoying. As you can see, I got one more cut to do. Um, it's that silver line right down there. And then, um, we'll go ahead and, uh, drill the holes and, uh, go from there. All right. Well, I went ahead, guys, and uh, skipped forward a bit. I finished cutting the uh, the plate on the bandsaw, and now I already did one coat of uh, paint on it. Temperature is a little cold, so I don't expect anything miracles to happen. But it's been set. It's dried for about an hour now. I'm gonna go ahead and try to drill my holes, and then we'll go from there. So, yeah. Alright guys, so I went ahead and uh, painted it, or I went ahead and painted the other side. The other side looks like shit, so that's going to be the downhill side, but I went ahead and cleaned this up. Got my holes drilled, hopefully they're in the right spots. But, yeah, it's, it's basically about done now. Just need to wait for this to dry. I got it next to the fire right now, so it'll cure a little bit quicker, but... Yeah, pretty quick. We'll be installing this in the case and see how it fits up. So, all right, guys. Um, so everything's all done now. Um, this is the next day actually after I let this cure. I got a little impatient with my uh, with my plate, and it's uh, 
it's all scraped up, but you know, I don't, I'm not too bothered about it. Uh, it's just a piece of metal at the bottom of the case and I'm not, I'm not too concerned about it right now. It's just, it's just there for, um, to help. And the plate's a little bit thicker than I, uh, wanted it to be. So I had bolts that were just long enough that came with the, the pump mount and the bracket to mount it to the case was just barely long enough to go through the case. I didn't feel like fiddling with it for 15, 20 minutes. So what I just did is I just zip tied it on there. And, um, you know, I sit down here with my desk. So there is no way I would ever even remotely see those zip ties. And with the side panel on, the power supply is even covered up. Even the top, the top of the pump's covered up. So the zip ties, you really can't see them. Um, but... It's just a temporary fix. I will be getting something more permanent in the future. And I'll, uh, whether I'm making my own bolts and whatnot and putting them in here or not, I, I don't really care. It's this, there's no way that this would go anywhere as of right now. So, I mean, I can almost move the whole case with just these zip ties. So, it, it's good enough for me. Um, obviously, if this is somebody's client build, there would, I would be. You know, going the, you know, legit route, I would be making sure that the bolts fit. And if they didn't fit, I'd be getting stuff that fit. So, but for my personal system, I can make some skimps here and there and, and do whatnot. So, anyway, guys, um, that's it for now. Uh, I will be including glam footage of Project Antares Part 2 now at the end of this video. So, go ahead and stay tuned for um, all that good video footage um, on a few days from now I'm going to be getting a new uh, reservoir top for this it's a five port res top but what I needed I needed it basically before I ordered this part I need what was called a uh, alf, alf water duct or whatever I, I don't remember what they're called by they're by bits power and basically what they do is they drop the coolant level that's coming into the reservoir lower than the actual level of the reservoir and it'll stop but i i don't know i kind of like the bubbly sounds but i do have a problem right now with this upper fitting it's as you can see it's it's leaking um i think it's just a bad o-ring on there it's not actually that the reservoir top itself that's leaking it's i think there's that o-ring that's there on the bottom of that 45 degree angle fitting is leaking it's not the inner collar, as you can see right there, which is what I'm worried about, that that piece right there in the middle. Um, so I think I need to put a new O-ring on there. There's nothing really very critical power-wise that's all over here. Um, now, if it was this fitting, one of these fittings over here, I would be a lot more concerned about it. But all I've been doing right now is I've just been wrapping a little towel around there until Monday, or until this part comes in on Monday. And at the time of filming, this is Sunday, so tomorrow I'll be able to fix this. So, yeah. Um, if not, I'll be ordering a new fitting. But like I said, it's not the biggest deal in the world. There's no real power stuff down here, so if it does drip a little bit, it's fine. And the fix is on the way. Um, but it's not. there's no risk of me uh, electrically damaging any components near it, so whatever I, i'll just have to deal with it for now and it will be fixed i promise so anyway guys here's the glam footage for the build um i'll be going I'll, I'll be i'll be recording me installing the new stuff when it comes on monday it's basically just the new reservoir top so yeah um enjoy the footage guys and uh, if you guys enjoy this content make sure you go ahead and subscribe um I, I can include some of the other client builds that I've done and start doing. I would actually really like to get into this, um, building these systems for people because I really love doing it. Um, but anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys next time.